Okay, now for the final part of this commentary. We're mostly on the epilogue of round five, so let's get this going. So we see, uh, Morgan Le Fay and Mordred meet up with Dracula and the Penguin. Well, actually, I think in the description... Oh, yeah, it, yeah, Dracula and Penguin are having a meeting with Morgana and Mordred as they all team up to proceed in taking out Jafar. Hmm. And what they're unknown is that Marlock is spying on them. Couldn't he spy on them in like an animal form, like maybe a rat? I'm just saying. You know, or any animal that's sneaky and without being spotted, I'm just saying. Instead of just him in his normal form. And then we see Morlock, uh, Murloc, yeah, tells Jafar what he saw about, you know, Dracula. Well, in there you kind of spell Alucard. Well, technically it is Dracula spelled backwards, but who cares? Working for Morgan's faction. Hold on. So they get a visit from Jafar's old rival who wants to join them. And that person is Nerissa. Hey, from which? Uh, they gotta go put aside their differences just to stop the bigger threat, of course. Feels awkward seeing him move slowly. Like, you know, with his mouth like that. The DC's Hades, this Hades finds Prince Phobos' soul in the underworld. The one he took over from the Disney Hades, of course. And he drags Prince Phobos to... Yep, be damned. And when this gets this Hades... Uh, please, hold on. Celebrate that his rival is gone. Then we see Lex Luthor meeting up with Amanda Waller. Ooh, huh? You know, we quest Amanda Waller to aid him in taking out Xanatos. Or she just doesn't care until he said he's got all the, um, interesting information about his doing, which gave her a change of heart. Hmm. And we see, turns out Paige survived and he's now in the, in the CGI universe. We're taking that concept from Disney vs. Marvel villains with the whole them getting killed but then all of a sudden going into the trans-dimensional portal. Seriously, what's going on? That still confuses me. And he meets up this uh, character, Lotso. When Pete entered the CGI realm, I guess he just crashed into Sunnyside Daycare. <laughs> Pete just wound up in Sunnyside Daycare. I mean, seriously, how else would you meet Lotso the Hugging Bear? Uh, hold on, how did they go down? Oh, yeah, and the one thing I gotta mention is that I... A new ally, Tron, I think you are trying to spell trying, but... you It's kind of hard to read what it says when you kind of spell it. Come on. I was a little blurry, sorry. It kind of spelled T R I L I N G. Is it trying or you said trolling or. I'm just saying, you probably need to check her spelling more often. Maybe, maybe it's telling him how to escape. So maybe that's what it is. Then we see, uh, well, knowing that Pete mysteriously disappeared. Dr. Dragon decides to make himself the new leader of this faction, since Pete has disappeared. And this makes Shigo, hold on. Only to be disposed by Shigo, who substitutes him much to... much to the joy of the Mad Doctor. So, that was Disney versus DC Villains, round 5, and... It was good. 
not great, not amazing, just good. And despite the whole, some of the critique stuff, even the whole things, like the, the whole different version of Joker separated from the main Joker, I think it would have been better if the Batman, the Raven, the bald footage of the Joker would have used on the main Joker rather than just being its own character. And I probably should have been pointing out about Ninja Turtles. I mean, I think the reason with Ninja Turtles works in the other tournaments, like the non Disney one, is because. One, the Shredder is human, while the Ultram Shredder is a flipping Ultram, an alien disguised as a human. How else can you explain? And I am betting on heroes versus villains that they're probably going to put out the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the second dimension, the same dimension that the one where Doofenshmirtz took over. That This is my speculation. Since in Turtles Forever, it does have dimensional travel. So, yeah, and as I said in the first part of the fan commentary of this round, it will be my final commentary on this war. And I'm not going to go back to the final part of the fan of the round of Disney vs. Marvel Villains 2, so I just hope you guys completely understand that Marvel and DC are not my interest. As I stated before, again, I only like the Marvel and DC movies. I was never into the comics. And I was never into the TV series, nor their cartoons. I'm not into the random Marvel and DC content. Okay? I'm just saying. So, uh, sorry, there won't be any more fan commentaries on Disney vs. Marvel Villains, not even on Disney vs. DC Villains War. And, let you guys know, in the official playlist of GA Villain when he made, Part 2 is the real finale. I think the reason he stopped, he didn't make the Part 3, because he, it's not canon. It's not. So he decided to split that off, non-canon, and all that, and eh, whatever, so, see, well, I think the reason G.A. Villain kind of stopped making Disney vs. Marvel villains is because he lost his muse. That's what it is, so, so whatever, so see you guys in the next uh, video.